Yeah, uh, until recently, the whole planet was a healthy global ecosystem. And in the last five or so human generations, after 3.8 billion years of life evolving on the planet, we suddenly have fragmented and simplified our planet down to the point where there's only about 10 or 15 percent of our planet left in a healthy primary ecosystem condition. Je crois que je t'aime, je ne sais plus Pourquoi me t'aime, je ne sais plus Je crois que je t'aime, je ne sais plus Pourquoi me t'aime, je ne sais plus Tu n'es pas là, tu n'es pas la même Tu n'es plus la même aujourd'hui Mais tu n'es pas là the rest of the planet has been modified in a way that has benefited humanity and we've kind of turned land into money, we've turned it into agriculture, into development, and a lot of it's just been wasted. And so because it's so recent that our planet was in a healthy condition, um, this is a really hopeful time for us to do something about that. And uh, I have developed a program called World Park. And World Park is a very simple idea. It really is that the whole planet, because it used to be a healthy global ecosystem, could get back to that condition very quickly if we wanted it to, or gradually if we want to take our time. But the problem is that People in the world, the scientists primarily, have decided that the way to protect nature is to make parks, to make little parks and medium-sized parks. And there's a few kind of large parks, like Yellowstone National Park is one of the biggest parks on Earth. And we thought that we could basically take the rest of the planet, the rest of the 90% or so of the planet, and use it up and use it for anything we wanted to. But that we just discovered that's not going to work. The reason is, is that these parks, these natural areas, these small remaining pieces, are they're, they're having very high extinction rates. The extinction rates are much higher than we expected. And so even within the largest parks, such as Yellowstone, we're losing one species per year. Now this is astonishing when you think about how originally the entire planet was using, losing about one species per hundred years. Now we're 200 to 400 a day. This is what we call a mass extinction. Okay, so what are we going to do about it? It's actually really simple. It's actually really fun. What we do is we take those last remaining 10% of our planet, that 10% or 12% or 15%, and we consider those, instead of isolated parks to protect nature, we consider those centers of a restoring global ecosystem. And we begin expanding these parks, these natural areas, these wilderness areas. National parks, we expand them outward gradually from each other towards each other. And what we do is we restore the planet back into a healthy global ecosystem. Now is this doable? Yes it is. Absolutely it is. Will it be back to the same global ecosystem? No, not exactly. It's going to be different. But we can make the planet healthy again. And we'll do this by taking the property deals from within those parks, within those natural areas. And by property deals, I mean seeds, I mean um, bacteria, I mean samples of soil, and re, uh, restore those back into, our, uh, into the marginal lands around them. And what we'll do is gradually um, 
people, even if you've just got nothing but a backyard, you can plant native plants. Those will begin to attract native animals, native butterflies, native birds. And little by little, we will get back to a point where, where the Native Americans were and where the indigenous people around the world lived in, in a technology um, that they have discovered. And I consider it a very deeply profound, innovative technology for living with nature with respect for all living things. And this technology has beneficial biological consequences. And, they, and those are that we get to live with nature for thousands, if not more years. So World Park is a method, it's a scientific method for restoring nature back into a healthy condition. How do you um, see cities helping with this vision of yours? Well, cities are, uh, centers of intelligentsia yeah, in some ways. These are people who are often academically mature, who are often uh, really love good ideas, and they recognize a good idea when they see one. And people in the cities know better than anyone how important it is to have enough food, to have enough nature, to have enough stimulation from the biodiversity of plants and animals on Earth that give us new and fresh ideas. People are designing their cities now after natural species. For example, there's a, in the Middle East there's a giant cactus building that automatically cools itself. Um, we're discovering that we can make uh, our buildings solar collectors very easily. And this is by mimicking the leaves of a plant and by taking uh, ideas from nature, innovative ideas from nature, we're able to enhance our cities and make them more beautiful. Yes, we can bring native plants into cities, it's very easy. Native plants are so much uh, better than exotic plants because they're disease resistant. They don't need any additional water. They're already pre-adapted to the soil, so they have their um, fungi and mycorrhizae and, and the bacteria in the soil that are so important for, for uh, species to survive. And it's a delight for people to be able to attract the native plants and animals, even within cities. And then around the cities, they need nature. They, everybody goes to nature um, to be refreshed and restored, at least most people do. And, uh, and there's nothing more restoring than a high biodiversity area. So the cities would benefit enormously. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Nama nyama nyama Fembe bedo go nyama Bekoro nyama bedo go la fankoro Nyama 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 Fembe bedo go nyama Bekoro nyama bedo go la fankoro Je crois que je t'aime, je ne sais plus Pourquoi me t'aime, je ne sais plus Je crois que je t'aime, je ne sais plus Tu n'es pas là, tu n'es pas la même Tu n'es plus la même aujourd'hui Mais tu n'es pas là, tu n'es pas la même Tu n'es plus la même aujourd'hui Je ne sais plus Je crois que je t'aime